What's up you guys, welcome back to another episode of Interate Performance. Today we're going to be changing out the driver's side half shaft or CV shaft to all my 97 Integra. Um, I'll show you in a second how it actually looks and how I know um, pretty much just that boot is torn coming from the outside. And um, so this is a how-to video. Okay guys, to start off with normally what I do is I move this 32 millimeter nut right there. To do that, you got to hammer straight this little like indentation on it, and then after that, 32 mil socket with an impact, and I just like to loosen it up, and from there, I'll hit these bolts real quick. Now that that little indentation's out, grab your impact. You can use a torque wrench or a huge breaker bar, but for me, attack easiest. Oh, put this on there. Finger tight. Now, just so you guys can see, this is pretty bad. Boot's completely torn. Tie rod end has the grease all over it. Same with the brake lines. Everything in here. Now I know my fork right there. And this, I forgot what it's called, but it is very rusty. Same with my control arms, and later on down the road, I will be cleaning all this up, tearing it down when I do full suspension system, and fixing it, painting it for now. Um, honestly, I'm not too worried about it. It doesn't really rain often here. So, now let's get to it. Now, if you look right here, I'm going to start with this tie rod. It's literally just a little cotter pin. Straighten it out, pull it through, you need to just grab some pliers, pull it, still nice and straight, reusable, then we're going to hit this, Set that to the side. Next, I'll be moving this bolt right here. Another one on this side right there. Right there. That's a 17 as well. Impact. 17 mil wrench. And last but not least, what are we doing? 
This is lower ball joint, castle nut, same thing with the cotter pin. Alright, now that I got this bolt out, I can easily pick up the actual hub, lift it up over, put it to the side. Now, I'm not sure if you can see it. Now, if I move this to this side. So, sorry about that guys. I didn't realize my phone had overheated, but the old half shaft is out. Everything in here has been wiped down, sprayed with brake cleaner. The next thing to do is to just slide this drive shaft in. Try and line it up with the back. Right, so to make that easier, you just slide this over. I'll let it rest. Okay, so really quick, if you guys see this ring right here, you need to make sure it's on there. That's your intermediate shaft, and this is the actual end of it. This is going to help it this half shaft lock in place so it doesn't fall out where you're driving you just need to kind of try and line this up sorry let me see if i can do this film for you guys so you gotta kind of try and line it up and once you get it close what i'm about to do is put some lube around these threads or these teeth Slide it back and then work on the front. So I got the inside part in. Now what I'm doing next is I got I greased up these splines as well. I'm gonna line them up with the hub. So just see if anybody knows, maybe you could let me know. I'm not too sure. Maybe I'll see it. But this seal right here wasn't on the previous half shaft. This black one right here. It's not on the previous half shaft. There's nothing right there, just the lip. And on the inside of the hub, there's nothing. So maybe you guys can let me know if I don't figure it out while driving around. I'm going to leave this on. Um, the guys at O'Reilly's told me it's ready to go just like this. Uh, I am concerned that there's no, like, I guess, um, balancing rubber. Normally there's some rubber on there, as you can see in the last... Uh, half shaft and it actually balances out so it can spin evenly it's a weight um, that's not on there I'm hoping that doesn't cause any damage um, but they said it's ready to go it should be fine it's for the vehicles with all-wheel ABS mine does so anything like I said it wasn't on the old one the old one was OEM so I'm just gonna take it off yeah, the old one was OEM uh, this is a reman from O'Reilly's so I hope I'm not damaging it by doing this but the old one the original didn't have it um, it looks like it might have been just to protect this groove maybe I'm not too sure but let me slide it in real quick and then we'll go from there go nice and seated all the way so next thing I'll be doing will be 
the little ball joint and tie rod or actually this fork little ball joint and then tie rod so let's get to it and then I'm actually gonna get some red Loctite for that nut I know I didn't put it on anything else but like I said I will be changing the suspension uh, hopefully soon and as long as they have those castle nuts you know they're good and tight they'll be fine for the time being this is like I said that 32 so This thing on just so it's seated all the way. Nice and flush. Get a hammer and a flathead. And you see they'll march so you could use a punch. I just want to indent it enough so right here. stuck on there and up the car you take it to a test drive and you're all done